What is up, y'all? It's your boy KK back for another Thirsty Thursday talk. Today is May 26. Today I'm gonna talk about what the Pittsburgh Penguins should do regarding their big three. But first we have a basic beer review of Estella Artis. I know I'm butchering the name, so I'm sorry. But it's a Pilsner beer that was first brewed in 1926 in Belgium. 5% alcohol volume. So cheers, but it's, it's a pretty fancy um, bottle. This is a big boy. Uh, I got it at the gas station. 22.4 fluid ounces. So cheers. It's a pretty decent um, Pilsner. I would buy it again and I would drink it again. So if you see me looking down, I wrote this out because I wanted to keep on track, right? All right. We're back. All right. So. The big three, okay? The players I'm talking about is Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and Chris Letang. Crosby still has three more years on his contract. Letang and um, Malkin, they are free agents this year. Um, Letang, he's a defense, but really he's an offensive defense uh, player. Um been in the league 16 years, 941 games played, 650 points. Last year, or this past year, 21 to 22, um, career high of 68 points for 78 games played. He is 35 years old. His deal for this year um, was $7.25 million a year. Malkin, 16 years. He'll be turning 36 in July. 981 games played. 1,146 points, 9.5 a year um, for this year. So, the general manager of the Penguins has said, yeah, we want to keep the big three together. Like, they're, in, they're, in, they're trying to keep Latang and Malkin um, together. They, they don't want to let them go. But to do that, with what they would be worth those players... That would be extremely expensive. Um, Crosby has a fixed salary of 8.7. Um, like I just said, I gave you the Malkin and Latang numbers. Um, but honestly, I think Malkin, uh, his salary, I, I would think would be similar to what he would he just had this year. But Latang, um, I feel like his salary is gonna go up between one to three million. So, the last time the Penguins won a Stanley Cup was in 2017, so that's five years ago. To, in order to win a Stanley Cup, it is extremely hard, and the Pittsburgh Penguins, I think it's 16 years, I forgot to check that fact, but I believe 16 years straight of making the playoffs, which is an incredible feat, but let's be real, it's been five years, um, they've had playoff struggles recently, this year, you know, they should have... Uh, beat the Rangers, you know, they're up in the series 3-1, to one. they had multiple um, goal leads in the remaining games, I mean, I think it's time for a change, and, you know, I kind of look at the past, you know, we had Mary Lemieux, who retired as a Penguin, then we had Yammer Yager, who played for other teams, and then Ron Francis, um, that's the name that really sticks in my mind, you know, played for other teams as well, and Yager, he's a hell of a player, and he's just, he's just, he keeps going, like, the the power bunny or whatever but um i really think crosby will retire as a penguin and malkin and Latang, i really think they're going to be going bye bye um if not you know keep one i don't think we should keep uh two players and kind of tie up all that money to it and i really think i'd i'd be content saying bye to Latang and bye to malkin they've they're hell of a players they have had a hell of a career thus far, but it's just not financial feasible, in my opinion. But I'm just an average Joe giving an average opinion of what a professional team to do. Obviously, I don't get paid the money to make these decisions, but 
I've been talking, so I had to get a sip there, which is very refreshing. But yeah, I'm content with the Penguins saying bye to those two players. Um, time to move on, and you can get two to four players that are really good and make the best of your buck with the market out there. But I hope y'all have a great Thursday. Have a great weekend. Um, and thank you to all the military that have served, um, that are serving. I know there's a difference between the holidays and Memorial Day is about, um, if I'm not mistaken, about the, the military members that um, died and, and never got to take off their uniform. I forget. I'm sorry. Um, but thank you to all the service men and women out there that are in the military, present, past, future. Thank you. Cheers. And I'll catch y'all next Thursday. Also, if you have an opinion, NHL, Penguins, leave a comment. Cheers.